Hello, friends. Welcome to a new happy learning video. Have a look at these images. They are sea sponges, although they are also called peripherans because they have a body full of pores. Pores, peripherans. Although they don't look like it, they are animals. Yes, invertebrate animals, and they are super interesting. Let's get to know them a little better. Sponges are aquatic animals. Most of them live in the sea. Although there are some species, very few, that live in fresh water. Sponges are the simplest animals there are. They don't have a brain, muscles, or blood. But they are excellent survivors. They have been living on our planet for more than 600 million years. They are much older than us and all mammals. There are many kinds of sea sponges, but all of them have their bodies pierced by small holes or channels called pores. Water enters and circulates through these pores and carries the oxygen and food they need, such as bacteria, unicellular algae, and decomposing organic matter. On the upper part of their body, they have a larger pore called the osculum. And it is through this that they expel water they do not need. Sea sponges are sessile animals, which means they live attached to the seafloor and breathe through their skin. There are two curious facts about sea sponges that we want you to know. The first is that these invertebrate animals are capable of producing antibiotics. Yes, yes, that's right. Antibiotics that are often used to make medicine and save many lives. The other is that some sponges are used for personal hygiene. Yes, yes, some sponges we use for showering are, or rather were, invertebrate animals. Before we say goodbye, we want to tell you something very, very important. Because of global warming, thousands and thousands of sea sponges die every year. And that is why we need you to take care and respect of everything around you. Remember, never ever litter in the countryside and recycle plastic, glass, and anything else you can if you take care of the forests, the seas, and all of nature. The sponges and all living beings will be very grateful. Goodbye, friends. See you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel. Hey, friends. Have a look at these images. As you can see, these are sea urchins and starfish, which are very special animals known as echinoderms. Echinoderms are invertebrate animals that live in the sea, amongst the rocks, or on the seabed. Normally, they are fixed to the sea floor and move above it very slowly. They reproduce sexually, although sometimes they do it in a very curious way, which we will discuss in a later video. Echinoderms have very hard and rigid spots under their skin. In the case of sea urchins, these spots are covered in spikes that serve to defend themselves against predators. 
A curious thing about echinoderms is that as well as not having blood, they don't think much because, well, they don't have brains either. Do you feel like learning a little more about sea urchins and starfish? The majority of sea urchins are herbivores, and more than 950 species exist. These animals live for many years. In fact, the red sea urchin is one of the longest living animals on Earth, since it can live for up to 200 years. The body of the sea urchin is round, and their spikes, besides being used as protection, also serve to obtain food whilst they move. Starfish are carnivores, and there are more than 2,000 different species. Normally, they have five arms, although there are some that can have more than 40. Starfish are incredible animals. If they lose one of their arms, it grows back. But what is truly incredible is that the lost arm can grow into another starfish. Also, since starfish don't have fins, they move with the tentacles that you can see in the images, which are on the bottom parts of their bodies. The truth is that echinoderms are super fascinating invertebrate animals. Don't you think? The bad thing is that many are disappearing. The pollution of the sea and the seabed means they can no longer live in some places. If you ever dive and see sea urchins or starfish, observe them, but leave them alone. And if you find any plastic bottles, collect them so that you can recycle them as our beloved diver has done. If you do this, our planet and all living things will be very grateful to you. Bye friends, see you in the next video. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.